Okay, so Dave and I are out again. Today is Friday, March 27th. About three days ago, there was a stay-at-home order by uh, Governor DeWine. And just like all the other metal detectorists out there, um, this is our exercise. Uh, this is definitely my ability to get up off the couch and breathe fresh air instead of being inside. I will tell you that uh, I did uh, come out with Dave. We drove separately. And we're more than six feet away from each other. We're practicing good social distancing. I'm not, not joking about it, but seriously. Um, I did find something. Uh, we've, been out, we've been out detecting for about a couple hours. No, hour maybe, right Dave? Maybe an hour. And um, went to the first place that I thought was gonna be promising and it wasn't. Uh, we decided to come back where I found my two cent piece. And I found a really cool squeeze box read as I just learned um, and I'll, I'll go ahead and give you a little look-see here it's a big one and uh, in great shape I, I really like these um, I have a I do have a this is my third uh, read that, that looks like this and I'm definitely uh, gonna keep it and uh, I'm gonna start collecting them because I think they're really cool Good sign of, uh, definitely a good sign of some life out here. And uh, something, something was printed up on this, but I don't know what it was. Okay, moving on. All right, uh, my second hole. I thought it was going to be a big iron target. And uh, look at this. Look at that. I think it's an old buckle of some oh, yeah. sort. I don't, I don't know if there's any writing on it. I don't want to take away anything else, but... <laughs> That's a pretty cool relic out of this place. Sweet. Corona fist bump, dude. Corona. Alright, Dave has a bucket lister. He found his first... Sleigh bell. Here, I'm zooming in. I found in. pieces of one. I never found a complete one before. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got some. Does it have some fancy on it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's got some something carved in the top of it. Awesome. <laughs> All right, throw it over. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wow. I wonder what it's made out of, because... See, and I told you, it had that one good tone to it. The rest of yeah. it had that irony sound. But awesome. In this field, you got to dig. Digging it all. Yep. All right, fist bump. All right, Dave's over there. I'm just kind of picking through the iron and uh, came up with the signal. I mean, I am going so slow here. There's so much iron, but I got a... It's a coin or a button. Uh, right here came up as 19 1819 which is usually a button or an Indian head um, so first the back oh it's really oh I don't know the, I, I think it's an Indian head oh, yeah. yep Indian head penny oh what is it? Indian head yeah. sweet oh, and it came out great too I gotta do the old pant rub here and I don't have really good pants for this Oh, man, that is just so cool. Um, trying to get a date for you, and I don't, I don't, let me use my other hand here and figure it out. I'll be right back. All right, so cleaned it off a little bit. You can see 1880 or 93. The first Indian out of this area, I think. All right, moving. Not too far, though. Well, we really haven't found much of anything else. Dave's over there. And I found this lock. It looks like an old master lock. And a uh, pretty trashy area over here where I'm at. But just kind of keep on looking. So I don't think this is very old, though. Maybe 
fifties, a nineteen fifties. That would be my guess. All right, we're moving on. All right, Dave. Dave's got a coin over here. It's so strange how, you know, you think you've hit a spot, and then all of a sudden, boom! Different detector, different frequency finds a a coin here. Dave says it's a penny size. What do you think? Is it the Indian? Looks green. It looks fat. It looks really like. It's got a shield on the back. It does? Yes. So it's going to be an Indian. It says one cent on the back? Yeah. Sweet Indian. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. This place keeps giving up. And it says... What? 1825, I believe. What? It could be 55. Here, see if you can see it better with here. With my non-glasses. 18, yeah, I don't, I don't have it. 18, yeah, I just wiped away. 1885, I think 85? it says. 1885. All right, I'm standing too close to you, so. All right. <laughs> Good job, Dave. Sweet. All right, so Dave found a coin. Where is it? Oh, it's really thin, too. Oh, unless it's a button. I don't think it's a button. I don't know. That's that's okay now. <laughs> so we're both thinking like, holy crap, it's two cent size. <sighs> it's old. It is it. Mm. Okay. Well. Jordy has the mystery coin that I found. I don't know what it is. This camera ran out of space. Turn it sideways. So it should, does it change? Huh? Did it change? It's, oh, I mean. Because then that way it goes the full screen. But I don't. Let me see. I have no idea. <laughs> it is the same size as a two cent piece. And it's hold. They're not going to hold a button. So it's a coin of some sort. We got to put that under like electronic <laughs> something or other. Damn, I can't tell what it is. I see something on it though, but I can't. I'm going to wait, let it dry and scratch it with a toothpick. So we're all done. This would be what I found. A squeeze box read a IHP. I don't know if that's a two cent piece or not. We're gonna look into it a little bit further. It's the same size and it's hold suspender, scrotal bell, or a sleigh bell, and some other like lantern parts. And I believe that's some kind of water thing done. Told us, Jordy. Found a IHP and a school old buckle and some other old like a some of it looks like a spoon part and some lead and a little button. But it was a great day. Great day, great day. We did a good job keeping social distancing for the. You know, we did a pretty good job. I think so. Yeah. All right, everybody, take care. Peace. Peace.